Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. It is Laura here, which means it's going to be a homeschool update. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a resource that I've added to my oldest daughter's um, homeschool curriculum to prepare her for essentials next year for classical conversations. So stay tuned as we discuss that resource. How I'm prepping my oldest daughter, who's in third grade right now, so she'll be going to fourth grade next year, and how CC works when you're a child gets to fourth grade, to fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, they, you add on another program. So you not only do the basic foundational memory work, which is the typical weekly memory work that we've been doing, but you know, then in the afternoon they do another program called Essentials, and it's through IEW, and I think you do also a little bit more math and stuff, but it's more of that focus. So I was like, I, I've done the reading program all about reading, but I didn't really do anything other like language art stuff on the side yet to prepare math. And then I was talking to some other moms and they were ask, asking in our little group chat and some of the other moms who have older kids already went through it or are currently going through it. They gave their recommendations on different resources to try. Some moms said the Christian Light, uh, I think it was Christian Light, Christian Light has a good program that she really enjoyed. But there's this other program that I was already using for Madison Spelling. Uh, I got from another mom last year, Rod and Staff. They also have a language arts program. They have actually a few programs. They're stuff I really, actually really, really been enjoying and liking. So I wanted to show you it. So it is this. This is the teacher manual. This is level three for third grade. And so you order it. Um, it's kind of it's from Rod and Staff Publishers. I love it because the lessons are so short, so simple. They go nice and slow. A lot of review. They Before each lesson, they uh, give it away down here in the green is oral stuff you kind of keep reviewing previous lessons with your student before you start the new lesson and here in the white the new lesson and anything that needs an answer they provide the answer for you so you can ask the mom you can kind of oh, I know the answer if you don't already know so we've really been liking that we've been going through with that and what she gets as the student she also gets her own little textbook hard book and again it is just the lessons in it so again and she can read it too it's very easy for her to read and sometimes I make her read it, sometimes I read it with her and she just follows along. It also comes with extra worksheet book for some of the lessons. We do this occasionally. She's done a few of the lessons where like this one was helping her go over more uh, learning her subjects and predicates and her sentences and learning to diagram, which I know they do a lot of that, I believe, in essentials. And she also learned about, you know, capitalizing quotation marks and this notebook. It's just this, this notebook. You don't have to do this notebook. It's just an additional resource if you feel like your student wants a little bit more practice. So if it's a concept, I just want to make sure she's getting. I do that. They also, also provide tests for those that like to keep up with giving their kids tests. I do do math tests through Matthew C. I did a unit, her first unit test with her. And so it, it's a nice, just again, a way to keep reviewing all the stuff they're learning. On top of it, some of you going through here, they say, have your student write out the sentence or diagram a sentence. So she picked a notebook. She wanted a little fuzzy notebook. Is it anything to get her excited to learn this stuff? I was all for it. So what she did in this, what they learned, again, they learned how to put their header on, their name, what the date and the lesson, and it's easier way for them to kind of learn to how to take care of their projects and get used to like heading papers and stuff. Or even help them learn to like document her and work. It's, I, yeah, document her work and so I can show at the end of the year. And also it's also to me good handwriting practice as well. But she does this. So again, not every lesson I have her do. Sometimes if it's something fairly easy, I just have her tell me it and I have her answer it. But sometimes I like her to actually kind of write it and practice it as well. So I kind of do both. And that's one thing I love so far about this program. You, it's, you can, as the parent, as the mother, you can decide, oh, my student's struggling with this. Let's have a little bit more practice. Let's use one of their worksheets. Let's make sure we're doing all the exercises they provide in here and write them all down. Then some things, oh, she's getting it. You can just quickly kind of breeze through it. So the lessons I get can sometimes take up to five minutes, up to 15 minutes, depending if we're doing a little bit extra more of the reading. But in general, it's not very difficult. And again, they provide all the lessons and answers in here. Even they give you the less answers to the worksheets. If you do decide to do some of these worksheets, they give you the answers so you can go back again, check your child's work, and go over anything that they miss. But uh, we haven't finished it, obviously, so this is, we're at halfway. We're not quite at the halfway point into this. We'll, we'll definitely, I'll continue this here for a few more weeks. I'll probably take a little bit of a break in December here, and then pick it back up in January. Now I know it's still going to be a little bit overwhelming and 
for her at the first year. But that's one thing I learned from other moms with the uh, essential program is that you do it three years. So by the third year, each year your student gets stronger and better at the material. So I'm excited for it. She seems really excited for it. Uh, she, some of her friends who are in essentials this year for the first year I always talk to her and like, oh, we actually really like it. We, they enjoy essentials. So I think she's getting excited for it and doing this I think helps her get excited for it and just gives her something else to do like her reading program like she reads stories and does that stuff but this is just again teaching her different things to prepare her for essentials. So, so far we like it and another mom who, who's also doing it with me, she, her second daughter is going to be doing essentials for the first time. Her and Madison are in the same grade together but she does have an older one who's been through it and well she's this is her last year with her older one. And she's doing this. She didn't do this prep work with her oldest. She just went right into essential. So she had no prep work. So she said for her second daughter, again, she wanted her daughter to have a little bit more prep work. And so she said she got this program and so far been doing it with her. And she said, as a mom has already been, she says it, it, it is going to prepare your, um, my daughter, Madison, for essential. So I'm excited for that. So this has been a really good resource if you're looking in for something, if you're a CC person and interested in a resource to prep your child for essentials, definitely check out the Rod and Staff program and uh, their um, language arts or English program. And I really, really have been enjoying it. And so is Madison. We're about almost 30 lessons into it. So we still have a lot more of this program. Roughly how many days a week do you do it? Did you say that? Well, right now we'd be doing this. She's still finishing up all about reading level four. So she probably does two to three of these lessons a day and does four I mean a week. For a week. And does her reading about uh, three to four days a week as well. Some days we only do one or two lessons a week. Because uh, I'm, I'm pushing this, but I'm not like over pushing it because she is still finishing up her reading program. But she's finishing up here this first half. So the second half of the school year in January, it will be all this. And we'll probably do about four. Some weeks we might do five. But all in all, two thumbs up for this program. I really like it. Like I said, short lessons to the point. It's God-centered, very Christian focused. So if you, if you want that... I highly recommend this program and like I said other mom said it does a good job of preparing your student for essentials. Thank you guys so much for um, joining me on this journey of homeschooling and following all my updates. Make sure you check me out over on Instagram or at LoriMichelle uh, at Lori Michelle, where I share most of my other highlights of in the moment action of what we're doing in homeschooling and stuff but if you have any questions head over to Instagram, message me over there on Instagram, and I will try my best to get back to you or do a follow-up video of anything Pacific. But I love you guys so much. Thank you again so much for joining me, following along, liking these videos, subscribing to Michelle Knight's channel. Again, it really means so much to us to have your support and get these videos out to more people. Thank you guys so much, and I'll chat with you all in the next video.